your faucet's leaking, and you're not that do-it-yourself type of person, don't call a plumber just yet. Krista Williamson is here to help, and she says a leaky faucet, well, it's an easy fix. We'll see how easy it is. What's the <laughs> first step that we need to do? Okay, well, this time we're here and we're working on the supply side. So water's being delivered here and it's under pressure. So we've got to turn the water off. Turn the water off. If we don't do that, <laughs> then um, you'll have a surprise and uh, you won't do it twice. So if under your sink you've mm -hmm. got uh, water shutoffs, then turn those off. If you find that when you look under there, you don't have shutoff valves, then you're going to have to turn off your main water valve. Mm -hmm. um, either way, you've got to uh, stop the water from coming to the faucet. Then go ahead and turn these on and get that last little bit of water out of here. Uh, the next thing I do is either stopper my drain mm -hmm. or just drop a little towel in there because there are a few small parts that are going to come out of these handles. Then you'll and have to work on yeah. getting that out of the <laughs> We don't really want to pipes. make this project bigger than it was. So. Okay, what are the tools that you need? Okay, um, you're going to need a screwdriver and you will probably need some sort of adjustable wrench. And then these are tools that you may potentially need. This is a little putty knife that's going to help us get to the screw to remove this handle. And uh, these are Allen wrenches. Some handles are held on with Allen wrenches. Mm -hmm. This one isn't, so we won't need it in this case. But uh, So the way to find the uh, washer or the valve stem that needs to be replaced in order to stop your faucet from dripping, you can always follow your handle. And that applies whether this is a sink faucet or a tub or a shower. Um, and same for kitchen faucets as, it, as for this bathroom. Mm -hmm. So under here, what's holding this handle in place is a screw. So we're just gonna remove that. Mm -hmm. And so since they're all different, do you need, is there any advice online or in case double check oh, what you need to do? There's all sorts of stuff online. Or come to your you know. workshops. Absolutely, this is the sort of thing that we cover in our basic home repair mm -hmm. workshop. So we're gonna move this little piece right here and then see this big nut. That's holding the valve in place. So you just need to, this isn't something that's on there particularly tight. So you just loosen that up and remove it. Okay. And then you're gonna replace that? We are going to pull this out and see what we have. Okay. Um, it, you don't really wanna mess this up. So if you use a little paper towel or some sort of towel when you're grabbing, then you won't, then chances are you can put it back in place. This particular valve stem is sort of a throw it away and replace the entire valve stem. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty inexpensive. Uh, yeah, you can do this for less than $10. Uh, this one I have in my pocket here is actually from an older faucet and these are meant to be repaired. That little washer that you see down here that's held on with a screw, you can buy these washers at any hardware or home improvement store and just replace those and then you slip this back down in just as you would this. So this one can be repaired. This one is a throwaway. Just and replace you can it. Take it with you um, to your to your hardware store. Get a matching one. So when do you call in a professional? <laughs> when water spraying <laughs> everywhere? Yeah. You say, okay, um, I tried. I tried to do it myself. You know. Trick, I, I have had uh, I've had it where I haven't been able to repair it just because there's been so much corrosion in the faucet, mm -hmm. and um, so then it becomes it's it's not so much. Uh, calling in a professional as that, you know, you could potentially want to replace the faucet itself. Okay, so, so just, okay, so you go ahead and finish. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, no, just putting it back together. You want to slip it in. There's a little alignment in there. By the way, there is a difference between hot and cold mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, so make sure you have the right one. Yeah, otherwise you'll be turning your faucet in funny ways that you wouldn't. And there you go. You just fixed it in yeah. less than three minutes. Yeah, it's a very simple fix. Um, you know, it's a perfect fix for homeowners. Mm -hmm. And really quick, people can find you at your K2 workshops and, and, and get your help. Some Absolutely. hands on help. We teach lots of things. We teach, uh, we've got an electrical workshop coming up this weekend. We teach tiling. We teach uh, just beginning projects like this and lots of other uh, specialized projects. So. Well, thank you for coming in and for sharing uh, this great do-it-yourself project.